Hi, this is Mr. Colley, and this is number four in the podcasting tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, we're basically going to be learning how to save our files in two ways. The first, once you've got a finished podcast, is basically through file and save project as. Now, what this does is it saves you a copy in an Audacity file format that you'll be able to go back to and edit if you need it. Um, just make sure you don't you don't move any of the sound effects or music that you've used in your podcast otherwise it won't be able to find them in fact what i'd recommend doing is setting up a folder with all the sound effects and music that you've used and saving your audacity project into there um, once you're ready to do that you click ok browse to the folder where you want to save it and give it a sensible file name now that's fine but once your podcast is actually properly finished, you want to save it as a format that's suitable for uploading onto the web and putting through iTunes. So to do that, you'd have to go to File and Export. Once again, you choose the folder where you want to save it. And you can save it as lots of different audio files. The most commonly used amongst, amongst um, audio files is MP3. So you Select MP3 and click Save. I'll just give it a sample file name. Now, you can add some details here. I tend to skip that step. Click OK. And do you remember in tutorial one, we saved the MP3 lame encoder? This is where you need to show Audacity where that MP3 encoder is. So you'd click Browse, go and find it, show Audacity where it is, and click open basically then hit OK and it'll make you an mp3 version so as I said in the previous tutorial get two or three podcasts ready to go save as mp3 files and then move on to the next tutorial which is all about uploading them so that they're available over the web